Hi, this is Michelle Taberge, and we're going to do fun technique dripping inks into pouring medium to see what happens. So what you'll need for this is some kind of a canvas or panel that's gessoed and prepared to paint on. These actually, people ask me this a lot, when you buy them at the store pre-made, they're almost always gessoed. So you don't have to put another coat of gesso on. It's ready to go. Then we'll need some acrylic inks. Fluid acrylics wouldn't work for this. It needs to be as thin as an ink, really, really watery consistency. Um, then you can use fluid acrylics and or soft body to mix in with the pouring medium. So that's what all these are. And then a squeeze bottle or a little container. I prefer the squeeze bottle, but um, I couldn't find any more. So I'm using this little jar to show you how to mix it up. So you take some pouring medium and then we'll put color into it. And actually you can, yeah, I'll use a soft body. I was gonna say you can, if you just have the inks, you can use the inks to tint the pouring medium as well. But the pouring medium comes colorless. This is soft body in a tube. Don't be confused by um, heavy body. This says soft body on it. The thicker paint is the heavy body, but you wanna use the soft body for this technique because it will mix in much more easily with the pouring medium. And stir that up really well so it's thoroughly incorporated. And then I think I'll add some white to lighten it. So this is soft body white. Again, it's a thinner consistency than the tube paint that most people, most painters use. Okay. This is enough to cover my canvas. I'm going to use some of that green that's already been pre-mixed. So I'm just going to pour on here in kind of a random fashion. Just can be very playful and have fun with this. Okay. I didn't mix it up super well, but that's okay. I see some of the white didn't get mixed in. That's why I like to use the bottles because I can shake it up. And you can watch my other videos and I show how to do this technique, but that's all right. I'm just going to let it be kind of marbly. It's fine. And um, here's some green that I pre-mixed. There's the end of my mixed color, so we'll use some clear just for fun. What I'm trying to do is just coat the whole canvas with pouring medium. It doesn't have to be the whole canvas either. You get to do this however you like. There's no wrong way to do this. And now we get to the fun part. We're going to drop some of the very fluid acrylic ink in. Now, if you notice this color is a little separated, that's normal, that's not a defect. It's because the binder is the consistency of water. It's so thin that the pigment particles that color it are actually heavier than the binder. And so you just gently shake it like so, maybe 10 or 11 times to incorporate it. If you shake it vigorously, you're going to end up with air bubbles. So just a gentle back and forth. We'll get the color mixed up. And then I'm going to drop some on here. Again, this is just very fun and lighthearted and playful technique. You don't have to know how to draw to do this. So this is really fun. If you need to shake things up in the studio or if you have a friend or a student who you know um, could use a little loosening up. 
you can introduce them to this. So many people are intimidated by making art and I like to make it accessible for everyone. So not everyone is going to learn classical painting technique and how to draw, but I think everyone should enjoy color and what it does. So right now the drops are still circles but they'll start to migrate. I'm going to take some of this turquoise. So I just put phthalo blue. This was the lime, vivid lime green. I've got a deep turquoise. I'll put a few drops of that. And then we'll need to let it sit for a while and do its thing. And that's really fun. So you can just sit and watch it. <laughs> 